Welcome everyone to our Divine Mercy Chaplet for today. I'm Father Michael Slovak. And I do not want you to think that I spend all my time in a recliner. I only do this when I'm getting ready to pray with you. I'm, I'm a big advocate for uh, recliners in chapels. That, that whether you're older or younger, you can be comfortable as you pray to God. And hopefully the prayer will be awake and not what we call horizontal meditation. So, so more and more, I'm finding my rhythm here. I'm doing more of my office work in this little, uh, this little recliner area than I am in my actual office. I guess I, I still don't feel like the office is mine. It still <laughs> has all of Father Dennis's stuff in there. I haven't really cleaned it out or made it my own yet. And so I have a, a little table space off in the corner of this room that I put my laptop and I do my work. But whenever I'm taking a break, it's so nice to have a recliner. So thank you for joining me. I know today has been a, a bit of a sad day. 9-11, um, we remember all of those heroes the rescuers that gave their lives. We remember those uh, on the airplanes. And to this day, we all know somebody that was affected by that, by that terrible tragedy. All of us were affected. I remember exactly where I was. You know, people say they remember where they were when John F. Kennedy was shot. I'm sure I remember where I was and exactly what I was doing when I saw the Twin Towers come down. And so uh, we all pray today for our nation and especially for the families that were directly affected, but also that this never happens again and that we can even be a force in the world to keep groups like this from, uh, from hurting others. And so uh, thank you again for joining me today as we do this Divine Mercy Chaplet. And part of the divine mercy is imploring God's help from heaven, not just for us, but for our loved ones and for our nation. And so it's a great thing to do today during this three o'clock hour of mercy. And, you know, the three o'clock hour of mercy is especially powerful today on Friday because um, three o'clock represents the time we believe as Catholics that Jesus died on the cross on Good Friday. And uh, believe it or not, we believe that it was 3 a.m., when um, Jesus rose from the dead. So, so many people see 3 a.m. As a, as a bad hour, as a terrible thing to wake up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. Often, the devil tries to take the most holy of things and make them, make them bad. In fact, I was told that the number 13, which we all know about Friday the 13th and all of that, well, I was told that it used to be a holy number, uh, the 12 apostles plus Jesus. But again, the devil attacks the holiest things, which is why he also attacks our families. Our families are in the image of the Trinity and in the image of God himself. And so, of course, the devil attacks the most holiest of things. So, well, I've waited as long as I can wait for my two beautiful sisters and my beautiful mom and well, I can even say it, my beautiful dad. Um, they will catch us when they catch us. We'll go ahead and begin our Divine Mercy Chaplet now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And today we implore God's divine mercy, his strength, his graces, his help from heaven for all of us, for those that we love, for our communities, for our nation, especially on this 9-11 and for our world. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. 
O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose from the dead, ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The Second Decade For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood. Soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The third decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The Fourth Decade One second to help my voice. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The fifth and final decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for joining me. Um, I've been staying busy. I'm almost, I just finished the St. Anne's Bulletin, working on the St. Michael's Bulletin, and those will go out today. And um, so thank you all for your prayers. And as you see, that's Father Tony Hessian in the background. And so, yeah. Who are we talking to? Oh, this is the my group that I do the Divine Mercy Chaplet with every day, including my mom and at least one of my sisters. Oh, nice to meet you all. <laughs> I'm just checking the schedule. Nice yeah. to meet you. And um, and just to add to that, Mom, I will be calling you after I make a few phone calls. I can only say that to my mom. <laughs> and so, still no symptoms, still doing well. God bless you all, and the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. I got to catch Father Tony before he goes too far. Take care.